Did you know that a foundational black American changed the course of indigenous history and American archaeology forever? Let's journey back to the mid-19th century, where our story begins with a young man named George McJunkin. Born a slave near Midway, Texas in 1851, George was anything but ordinary. He possessed an insatiable thirst for knowledge that remained unquenched even after he was freed and had to adapt to a new life. He learned to read, write, and even picked up Spanish, bridging the gap between Mexican and Anglo communities. Word spread about his intellect and adaptability, leading him to become a respected cowboy, and eventually, a foreman at Crowfoot Ranch in New Mexico. Little did anyone know that this ranch would become the site of a groundbreaking archaeological discovery. George McJunkin, a man of humble beginnings, was about to stumble upon a discovery that would shake the foundations of archaeology and indigenous American history. In 1908, a great flood hit Folsom, New Mexico, revealing an unexpected treasure. In the aftermath of this natural disaster, George McJunkin, foreman at Crowfoot Ranch, was out surveying the damage. As he traversed the flood-ravaged landscape, he noticed something unusual protruding from the earth. Bison bones. Yet, these were no ordinary bones. They were considerably larger than those of the modern bison, suggesting they belonged to a prehistoric species. A self-educated man, George's curiosity and intellect told him that this was more than a simple geological oddity. He believed he had stumbled upon a significant archaeological find, but convincing others of the same proved to be a challenge. His claims were met with skepticism and dismissal, an unfortunate reflection of the times. Despite the lack of formal education, George held steadfast to his belief in the importance of his discovery. For years, he passionately shared his findings with anyone who would listen. He tirelessly advocated for the site's potential archaeological value. But his words largely fell on deaf ears. It seemed as though the importance of his discovery would remain unrecognized. Despite his efforts, it would take years, and the passing of George himself before the world would truly understand the significance of his discovery. His name would eventually become synonymous with one of the greatest archaeological breakthroughs in American history, forever changing our understanding of human habitation in North America. George McJunkin may not have lived to see his discovery recognized, but his impact on archaeology is undeniable. After his death in 1926, experts from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science finally took interest in the site George had been speaking about for years. They began their excavation and soon found themselves in awe of the prehistoric treasure trove that lay beneath the surface. Among the findings was a stone spear point, lodged in the soil between the ribs of an extinct species of bison. This was the key that unlocked a new understanding of indigenous human history in North America. The stone spear point was not just an artifact, it was a timestamp indicating that indigenous black people had been in the Americas more than 11,000 years ago. This pivotal discovery challenged previous beliefs and opened up a whole new chapter in our understanding of human habitation. The Folsom site, as it came to be known, was the first site generally recognized as evidence of the great antiquity of human habitation in North America. This revelation sparked a wave of interest in archaeology in the Southwest and the Pleistocene period in general. It was a discovery that changed the course of history, all thanks to a cowboy with a passion for knowledge. Thanks to George McJunkin, a cowboy with a thirst for knowledge, we now know that humans have been in the Americas far longer than we ever imagined. Remember this journey through America's hidden past is just beginning. Now if this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19 white men who admitted there were indigenous black people in the Americas, and 13 black scholars who admitted there were black people in the Americas before Columbus, by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious, and keep exploring.